What's up guys, Potato Bob here, so this is a tutorial for new players on StarCraft 2 and when I mean new players, I mean you are downloading the game and you just heard about it, you don't know about what you're gonna play but not at all. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm going to be putting myself as a Terran and I'm going to put myself as uh, my enemy as a Zerg. I'm going to put it at very easy and the game at very fast so you guys can have an idea of what the game is there we go this is not the campaign there is a story but I won't show you the story right now basically this is your command center this is where all begins you get a right click on the minerals or use Y right here and click on the minerals then you gotta click S to make some SCVs. You gotta use those that are right here and send them on the minerals by right clicking. You can use only one guy by clicking on him, sending him wherever you want by using the right click. Alright? So that's how it works basically. We're going to go back on the command center and make more SCVs by pressing S. You see the hotkey is right here on the top corner. If it's not gear, you can switch it in the setting, and the menu is here, F10. So you make more SCVs, more SCVs, more SCVs. That's nice, it starts good, you can do something. Alright, that's fun. So as you see, more worker I have, more money I do. So you can see my cash over here, those are the minerals. One worker cost 50 minerals, I have now over 100. That's really nice. Here you can see how much units I have. I have 11 out of 11. What it means is that this SCV right here, which is in Cure in the command center, won't come out. Uh, well, he came out, never mind. This one won't come out. So that is, that's what I was uh, saying. Let's do it again. You need more supply depot. Basically, that's what she say. So, what you're gonna do is build a supply depot. So, to build a supply depot. Sorry for the lag, as I told you. I'm downloading a game. We're going to press B. Or as you can see, press B here. But it's only with the worker you can do that. Then you're going to find the supply depot, which is S for supply depot. Alright. So my done my guy here is done. So that's what it gives when you have your supply depot down. You have 19 guy instead of 11. That's perfect. Now I wanna get more units because I wanna get an army. I'm going to build a barrack. So the same way, I go and build. And I make barracks. So I'm gonna make two. Just because I need guys. So what I'm doing right now is I'm pressing shift and I'm giving more orders to this guy. So when he's gonna be done here, he's gonna go here, make another barracks, and then he's gonna go back to mine minerals. Here, and I wanna make more SCV, so I'm gonna press S five times. Here, I wanna get more supply depot, so I'm gonna press B and S. To get build supply depot, build supply depot. And so what's fun with them is that you can actually burrow them. Sorry. You gotta press shift in between your orders. Here you have R. You can put them on the ground. So my character can move over it and I can make a wall like that. So now I got a lot of uh, SCVs. Here you can see 14 SCVs out of 35. And I got two barracks. Oh, what are the barracks? The barracks are the one to make the marines and your army out of it. You can make marauder, you can make uh, the reaper, and you can ma make the ghost out of it. We're going to start by making marines. So we're going to link it the same way that we link the command center to the minerals. By pressing right click. By pressing twice on this barrack, you'll see that I can select this barrack too. Then I'm gonna going to link those two barracks at the same place and press A for Marines. This barrack is not ready yet, so it can't produce any units yet. 
I'm going to make dense those just for fun. Party here. All right, go back to the mineral field. Go back to the mineral field. I'm going to link my marines over here because that's where I want my defense. That's my door. So here, if you want to know if you have enough SCVs or not, just click twice on one SCV. You see this page over here? It means that I'm already full, almost full. I could have up to here, so I could have almost 10 more. So I'm going to make more SCVs to give you the ID. And I could take some gas also. What I'm going to do is B again for build. And I'm going for a refinery, which is actually R in French. And I'm building a refinery over here. Then I'm going to go back on the minerals by shift, right click. So it's going to go back in the minerals after that when it be done. The refinery is right the, the minerals. It needs true three worker to get full. So you can put up to three worker per minerals. As you see here, you can count the mineral field plus these two. It will give you the number of worker that I need. But my way to do it is a full page. So I'm going to put three worker, one, two, and three in this building to get me some gas. I keep making some marines here, you'll have noticed. These two means that are full here, as it all white. In fact, you see I get a lot of minerals, and I'm going to get uh, to have to get more supply depot soon. So I'm going to take a worker and make him do a lot of supply depot for me. Then go back on the mineral. I'm going to take another worker and make another refinery so I get even more gas. But what is the gas used for? We didn't even talk about that. Well, we're going to talk about it. As you can see over here, I got my barracks. And I got, oh, I got another door there, and I'm not defending the good one. <laughs> that is a funny fail. <laughs> a really funny fail. Alright, I'm going to do something there, guys, sorry. Alright, so I'm going to make another wall there. Because this wall is not a good place. I'm gonna move my army over here. See, it's becoming a big army. I'm going to link them over there because I don't want to go protect this door. I want to send them over here. Alright. Make more CVs, more supply depot. As you can see, here I can get more units. I get a lot of gas now. I should put two more guys there though. No, I really got a lot of money, but I can't spend it. When I click on my barrack, I got two upgrades as you can see over here. I got this one, which is a reactor, which permit me to make two marines at the same time. Or this one here. I'm going to click this one here to show you what it's doing. I'm going to click this one here for the other one. Well, this is building. I'm going to show you uh, something else we can do with an SCV. With an SCV, you can make another interesting building, which is called the bunker. We are going to press B and U for build and bunker. I'm going to make a bunker there, which can protect up to four units. Sometime it can provide them a longer range. I think it's only in a single player though, in the campaign. So I'm going to link my units there, but you can see now I can make those here. But only with this building. This building here doesn't permit them. But you can make two units at the same time. I can make up to 10 marines. 
So I'm gonna be making 10 marines and with this one I'm gonna be making only special units. So we're going to go with the marauder first. Here my bunker is ready. How nice it is. I'm going to put 4 marines in it. Here you can see 4 marines inside my bunker. To complete this basic video, we are going to need two more points. A big fight, and we are going to need a big base. So I'm going to send this SCV over here, which is actually my neutral. If you look at the map, if you look at the map over here, you'll see that I'm on the bottom left, bottom right. Sorry, and I need to go to the top left to see my enemy. Both of us have a mineral field near of our base. We spawn here, he spawned there. Okay, it's only an overlord, sorry. So I spawned there. And uh, basically I want to go over here because it's the closest place and the easiest place to protect. I have a door over there and the other door is my main door over here where I'm already protected. So basically I want to build over here. I'm going to press B and make a command center. I'll wait to make your command center as close as you can from the mineral. A command center costs a lot of minerals, it costs about 400 minerals. So if you didn't it has as lot as SCV as me, and you doesn't have over the f uh, 20, uh, uh, 2000, uh, well, it's quite normal. So here I'm going to make a lot of units. Because the enemy is not attacking me because he's at very easy, it's kind of normal. We are going to uh, leave him no chance, by the way, just to show you how overpowered we can be if we follow this technique. So basically what I do is I click my uh, barrack, so it selects them all when I click twice. And when they are all connect controlled, I can place the control key and 2 or 3 or 5 don't matter you see what's happening alright so now anytime that I press 2 it's gonna go back to my barracks if I press twice it brings me back to them directly so now all I have to do is press 2 or one of those number and just keep making units oh you see there? that's an enemy there's an enemy over there too so now, this building is done, I can take some from here and send them over there. As you can see the mineral here is down, there's only 90 mineral left on this field here and uh, 230 for this one. There is one problem over here, I have no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no protection down here so I don't know if I'm gonna get it attacked by here. So I'm going to take my army and split it in two. But I still wanna use them all at the same time. How can I do that? I'm going to press Ctrl 1 to make an army right here. So that's my army and that's my barracks. And I'm going to control these ones and press Shift 1 to add them to this group here. So now if I press 2 it selects nothing. But if I press 1 it selects those guy plus those guys and I said attack over here everybody goes there so I'm going to add this guy to the group again press shift and one press shift and one let's see everybody moves that's perfect so there we go I'm going to press A to make attack and go further for my enemy right now what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to make a big ball because attacking enemy one by one in a line is not that good. You want to be energetic. As you see I took it down very fast and I have no upgrade. The reason why is the way that I move. In between attack you can get closer from your enemy by moving. So that's if you uh, want to use some, uh, some style. 
Yeah, you can kill those beasts, they are no enemies, but still fun, really bloody. Oh, I'm hitting a wall, but where is the door? So I can walk around and look for the door, I can look in the shadow over here and oh, there is the door. So I know I gotta walk farther from his base, cause if you see, if I go in the corner over here, do you see this view that it gives me? If there's an enemy in there, I'll see it. Now, if I take an enemy and a unique and I send it there, I can't see in the upper way over here. I gotta be on the top to see it. So I better stay far because my enemy can see me and I can't see him. Oh, enemies over there. I'm gonna have a fight. Those are Zerlings. This is Zerg and this is Creep. Walking on this gives them more speed. So actually this is not good for me to be there. It means I'm in their base right now. This is only where our buildings that you have creep like this. And here comes the war! If you can call that a war. So I'm gonna get behind over here to attack the mineral field because I don't want him to make any more money. No more mini can get out of here right now. As you can see, you got no more drones. Well, I got my GG already, which means good game, by the way. And uh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to last a little bit longer, at least. Oh, by the way, let's finish this. And that's what I really call a GG, when you doesn't have the choice and this spawn in your face. Like, stop playing, you won. Alright, so I wish you guys will get to the screen, the first game you play. Just try playing it on very easy for the first game. Just try that. You'll see after. Well, not very easy, maybe easy. As you got those uh, powerful tips. Alright, good luck guys.